Confetti Club, it is Pixie, and I'm joining you with a no makeup face. Actually, I have a little bit of like, a little bit of, you know, concealery foundation y stuff. And that means that today is a makeup video. I have been aggressively requested to review the new, ever so viral, ever so tweeted about ASOS Crayola makeup line. Now, I know that a lot of beauty gurus have been tweeted this and sent this link and requested to review this. However, if you know me, if you've been here for like more than a couple months, you know that I am also quite a Crayola stan. I went through a major Crayola phase and still definitely am appreciative of the Crayola aesthetic. I love crayons. I got my crayon earrings today. I made them myself, but they're literally just real Crayola crayons with earring findings in them. I think it's very nostalgic, very throwback, very colorful, very cute, very good, iconic. I love you, Crayola. However, by now, I have seen a couple of reviews on this already. I've seen two, and they were both uh, very bad. I don't know, maybe they just had different expectations. Maybe they were looking for something else than what I want to do, um, because if you know me, you know I love a good, weird, avant-garde, strange, let's get weird look. And I think that maybe that is what this collection was more so trying to gear towards with like the bright blue mascara and all of these crayons that are meant for lip, eye, and cheek. I didn't get any of the powder items. I didn't get any of the palettes. I didn't get the highlighters. I thought about it, but oh my god. God, this stuff is expensive. For these four things, it was over $100, and then I was dinged with $30 custom charges at the door. So like, I hope you like this review because I wouldn't have bought this if you guys didn't want me to review it. Packaging is beyond adorable. It straight up could just be a box of Crayola pencil crayons. So we got this uh, set of three because I almost bought them all separately anyway. I also picked up these two um, like face crayons, only the red one cannot be used on the eyes. I guess this is the only one that is an eye safe. I'm also sorry that I'm missing two nails. It's been a rough week. And just for the frick of it, I did pick up this bright blue mascara, which I really hope is good, but I, I don't know. I'm feeling doubtful after the reviews I've seen. So firstly, I'm just gonna give them a big old friggin' swatch of maroon. So these are all of the face crayons I picked up. I'm gonna give them a cheeky swatch on my hand first, and then we're gonna go in and see what kind of luke we can create. Are these really as bad as everyone's saying? We're gonna see. This is strawberry. I'm gonna go right over my mole. That's pretty friggin' pigmented. That's super pigmented. Hi! Okay, that immediately, like, got on the packaging. I don't know if that's my fault or what's going on. The much beloved dandelion. Again, you can see I'm giving it a couple passes. That's pretty pigmented. It's not as crazy as the red. This one's just called green. Oh yeah, that's the color I wanted. Comes off a little more grassy than the actual, um, like what it looks like in the tube, but that's good because I wanted it specifically to make leaves if I wanna draw flowers on my face. <laughs> this is turquoise blue. Oh, that one's super pretty and bright as well. Hi! And then we have Periwinkle! I almost got lilac, but these are similar, and like I said, these were expensive as hell. So here are all of the multi-use crayons swatched on the back of my hand. I'm actually going to give the mascara a little bit of a swatch too, just so you can see like the pure pigment. So again, it looks just like a Crayola marker. Very cute. I don't know how much I'm gonna use this. I'll be honest, like I really just wanted to get this for the review because you guys were so hyped. Okay, uh, something's happening, kinda. A little, a little bit. That's a little rough looking. Uh, maybe it would be better on an actual eyeball. I don't know. But there's my attempt to swatch it. When I usually do my makeup, I would do my foundation, my concealer, and then a setting powder, but I want to try a couple of different looks with these, so I didn't do all that because I would be using makeup wipes and like wiping away all my base, but I'm going to try using this bright red strawberry color as blush because it says lip and cheek crayon, so this might be very bad, but I'm just gonna give like the lightest ever touch. I'm just gonna go Hi. Hi. 
boop, boop. I don't know why I did it in that sort of like <laughs> diva arrangement, but moment of possible truth. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe I should have, I don't know, somehow put it on a, on a brush. Or maybe, maybe this is gonna turn into something. You know what? Maybe this is salvageable. Cause y'all know I like an intense blush. I like a rosy rosy hashtag living doll anime queen cosplay Harajuku moment. Uh, it's not that bad. Again, this is for me. If you're watching this and you uh don't look like a crayon 80s Barbie Japan explosion. Perhaps this is not the look for you. But when I saw this collection and the way that they marketed it, I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited for weird makeup made for me to look weird with. I'm calling in reinforcements. Oh no. Oh, I don't think that helped much at all. I think that perhaps has made it much worse. Okay, can we just do a little, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, <laughs> ah. You know what? I'm gonna say that that's okay. I'm gonna say that that is enough. What if I instead perhaps put a teeny- is this insane? Put a teeny tiny amount on my beauty blender directly? That's not a teeny tiny amount. Can I do a tiny bit of nose blush? Just like a tiny bit. Just like a hi. That's not a tiny bit. So I'm gonna do that with that side and then flip it around and attempt to buff it in. I mean, I don't want a Rudolph look. I want like a soft lady just came in from the snow look. You know what? It's not the worst thing I've ever seen in my whole life, but I would not use this as blush ever. <laughs> it just says lip and cheek. So I assume that's, I don't know, maybe what they thought. Maybe they want you to do more like weird looking looks like I'm about to, but uh, I really like doing designs underneath my eyes, like here and here. I love doing like highlighter and glitter and stickers and stuff. And my first thought when I saw this collection was like, oh my God, I can use it to just like draw shapes on my face. I wanna draw shapes on my face. So I knew I wanted the yellow cause I want to attempt to draw a star. I am very nervous, but it's pretty pigmented. And it's a rainbow. Also could be very good for a pride Luke. I'm basically just gonna be scribbling on my face like an actual kindergartner with crayons. Uh, because that's my aesthetic. This may not work at all. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my whole life. It literally does not show up. Crayola, <laughs> why would you do this? Again, part of that's probably also the color, but like, if you're gonna make a bright color, like yellow, white, anything bright that would be harder to make it stand out against skin, make it more pigmented. Hi, I'm gonna throw in a cheeky heart because I know this red will show up. Hi, we're here, perfect, that's cute. That's cute, I can live with that, hi. They say they're not eye safe and it's not quite on my eye, it's fine. My hair is lime green on the bangs right now, but I didn't get a lime green crayon because they did not offer them, I don't believe. Um, there's this color and then there was like a sagey green, but they do have this turquoise blue and I love a blue brow. So in theory, if this is good for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be the happiest girl alive, but I'm just gonna freaking try it out. I don't know why I'm doing eyebrows before I do my eyeballs. I just, I'm excited and I, and I want to, so. Um, oh my God, that looks so much more intense in the camera. Could I use an angled brush and like put the product on that and then use an angled brush? Yeah. Am I doing that? No. Oh, okay, that's a, that's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, he's very blunt. Can I give him a little bit? These are very not the best to like blend. My eyebrows are usually quite blocky anyway, cause it's hard to like 
fade out a color that is not the color that your actual brows are because it just goes like lime green fading to brown and it's like honey you're not kidding anyone okay the brows are quite freaking blue that looks very not good especially with the lack of eye makeup my brows are very very aggressive right now <laughs> ah but it worked okay in theory i would like this if i had a full face of makeup but that's my fault for getting too excited and trying to do that before i do an eye look at all like if i if i saw this person walking past me in the grocery store i would be like okay i'm gonna try to do some sort of eyeball creation i didn't get the pink because there's only one pink i'm pretty sure and it was marvelous and it's like so muted and sad i have some brushes here but i'm going to apply it straight from this because it's a crayon and i feel like that is what you should be able to do oh my contacts don't enjoy this at all this might be good for creating a dare i say cut crease <laughs> what i'm gonna do the yellow anyway Okay, come through Crayola. What's going on? This is very uncomfortable to apply because it feels like you're rubbing a pencil on your eyeball, which you are. I'm gonna give him a cheeky just- I'm just gonna blend it with my fingers because it's literally wax on my eyeball. This looks like a soft sky. Would you trust this person? No. <laughs> now, I don't think I can do much more like blending than that because this is is a crayon but i'm just gonna try to i don't know soften out the edges so it's not literally just a blunt line yeah i would never ever 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 use those like that for no reason ever however i do have a beautiful vision in my brain where i can draw a flower on my face i'm kind of all over the place here but i'm just i'm just going with the flow Okay, we have a vague flower shape. That was greatly medium successful. And of course, you're gonna get the other color on your freaking thing. But it does wipe, it wipes right off, which is good, I guess. It's like actual Crayola washable markers where like you go over a black line with the yellow marker and then your yellow's just destroyed until the end of time. All right, the only color we haven't used yet is this green one. I got it to make leaves if I ever wanted to draw flowers. <laughs> you just have to go over it so many times to get any color payoff. <sighs> now the only color I can really- well, I mean, I could use this on my lips and be wild. I mean, there is a red crayon for a reason. You can tell some of these were more like meant to be used on the lips. I hate how I look with red lipstick i just think it's too harsh on me <laughs> because the rest of me is neon and i'm just like this is a lot but the whole tip of this just broke i was not pushing that hard wow i can't believe these are that expensive for the quality you get okay we're going to freaking try that again and of course when it broke it got on my chin okay the red slaps i hate red lips on me especially with the blue brows i just look like a very strange confused lady i hate this oh guys i'm looking like a true crayola mess i'm gonna throw a little i know i'm jumping all over the place just because these are meant for eye lip and cheek so i just keep like getting exciting and going to other areas like desperately trying to make these things good or working Okay, the second you start to blend it out, it just like loses all its pigment. And it doesn't even really blend. And I look like a scary monster woman. I hate this. We're going to attempt the last remaining product. Maybe he will save it all. Maybe it will be so amazing. I could never imagine being mad at this collection. My mother Crayola would never do this to me. We're going to try the bright blue mascara. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, that really barely gave me any pigment. 
feel like the formula is just too liquidy so when the actual brush brushes it through it wipes it off your eye i mean yeah you can definitely tell they're blue comparatively they're definitely not giving me any length or volume it's just like kind of almost trying to make them blue like look at that i'm fighting i'm really fighting for you crayola <sighs> so sad my face fills the whole screen i'm so sad i was excited for this i had faith in this until i saw other people's reviews and thought oh no and i still was really ready for my review to be the one that was positive i was ready to come back and say hey stop giving my my papa crayola a bad name but it's bad it's not great. Okay, let's start with the positives. I love the crayons for brows, and I love it for lip. The formula is great, even though the freaking red one, like, broke in half when I put it on my mouth. Don't like the red on me, but, like, if this was a different person who liked a classic red lip, I think you would really like the color strawberry for your lips. However, would I spend, like, $20, $18, whatever it is, on this when you could go to Sephora and get a real lipstick for the same price? Zero percent. Do not do that. I like this side slightly more. The flower is a little cute. I mean, like, I feel like I could be a happy little, little, weird little flower girl. This, I mean, the heart's cute. The star, I was so excited to draw big yellow stars on my face. I just, that is something that was going to bring me joy and it didn't. Dandelion, maybe this is why they retired him. Excuse me, I'm very sorry, but it, it's not working, hon. Brows, awesome. If I have blue bangs again, which I definitely will one day, definitely could use these for my brows. I might, might even use them for my brows with this hair color anyway, because I mean, there's, there's blue in it, it's fine, who cares? <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm sad and mad. I'm gonna try a different color on the lips just for fun, because we have lots of weird lips. And it could be fun. Yeah, I feel like the staying power is also nothing. Like, if I took a sippy sip from a friggin' glassy glass, it would just be like, goodbye. Zero percent would go smooching people with this lip on. Or any of this, because I feel like it doesn't- I f You could probably set it with the translucent powder, but like, good luck. Let's get weird. Do we want to do blue? Do I want blue eyebrows and blue lips? Hello, we're here to have fun. I mean, it applies okay to the lips. Like, maybe they should have advertised it more as a lip crayon as opposed to anything else. Do I want to be super weird? I'm just going to be really f***ing weird because this, this, this review is over anyway. We know it's not great. Wow, the yellow really doesn't show up. Like, I'm fighting with them. Wow, that was very sad. I'm going to do the other half in red just because I don't care anymore. Okay, the yellow is disappointing me more than anything because this is the one I knew I wanted for sure and it is by far the least pigmented. The blush looks much more normal now though. I want to try another eye look. This mascara would have been really cool if it worked better than not at all. Like you would have gotten a better blue mascara if you just took the blue crayon and rubbed it on your actual lashes. I swear to god. I just want to have fun. I just want to mess with it. I want to see if I can just do some sort of strange eyeball shape. Because <laughs> I am now living my Crayola, let's draw all over my face life. I'm going to go in with green because I feel like he hasn't been appreciated as much. And I love, I love a color. Okay. That's kind of cool. I didn't want it to be that pointy. I wanted it to be more like, Ooh, but that didn't happen. I look like a scary clown <laughs> what color okay so the red is not eye safe so i'm not gonna actually die for this these are so unpigmented on the hand i was excited on the face for some reason nothing and it's not like my face is oily or has other product like i only have that little like dark circle eraser thing under my eyes because i thought it would adhere better to naked skin and you know what i think i'm right if i had my full foundation and powder and stuff i think this would barely even go on the skin that is the truth t shishtar again if you have contact lenses i do not recommend this at all okay also pressing my lips together do you want to get very up close and gross i look like a 
dead woman. I was so ready for this to be the positive review. I was ready to be the one YouTuber to make this work. I was gonna do a sick avant-garde look. It was gonna be hot. It was gonna be cool. It was gonna be creative. Art student, let's go. Weird, squiggly, wiggly Crayola party. Man, I was ready for the thumbnail to be a killer Luke. Guess what? That didn't happen because these are bad and you should not spend your money on them. I am sorry. Okay, the only instances where I would recommend these is if you want a bright colored brow and you don't, you don't intend on putting your head against anything because it would stamp off like that and you would have a big blue eyebrow on the back of your hand. Um, again, you can probably set it, but I don't usually set my eyebrows, is that wrong? Eyebrows and lips, again, only for a lip if you intend to not eat, drink, or kiss anything or anyone probably don't eat people. The mascara is just, it's like pitifully bad. It's so bad. It's so watery. Like I, f I feel so, mm, I haven't been this mad about a product in a while because I love Crayola. Like I've said, I think a thousand times in this video, I'm such a Crayola stan, love the aesthetic, love crayons, love cool, colorful, childish things. I thought maybe the other YouTubers just don't get it. The other YouTubers, you know, they're into their normal, like, I don't know, contouring, like Instagram baddie looks. Maybe I, I'm the one who loves the peeps and the pencils and the rainbows. I can make it work, but no, they're just, they're just bad. <laughs> they're really bad and they are absurd expensive for how bad they are do not spend your money on these unless you want one for like a periwinkle eyebrow do not you get a good amount of product but that doesn't matter if the product is like borderline unusable no just no I'm sorry I've seen other people liked the like face palette or like one of the eyeshadow palettes. There was a stick highlighter, but I really don't like stick highlighters. I have one from Milk and it's not very good. It takes off all my foundation under it and doesn't blend. So I just, I didn't, I didn't want to bother. I didn't want to waste even more money on things that suck. I didn't think these were going to suck. I thought I was going to be able to make it work, but... <sighs> Tisk tisk Crayola, tisk tisk ASOS. This video's Fiji Confetti Club member is Strawberry Buttons on Instagram, looking like a soft summer flower in the Go Get 'Em Sweetheart tee, rocking some adorable bubblegum pink scallop shorts, and of course, it is the season of the jelly shoe. You look adorable. Thank you so much for your support, my sweet love. I love you guys all so so much, and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one is over. Bye.